Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. This is my 75 gallon African cichlid community tank. In this tank, I have a mix of ambunas, peacocks, and haps. I know many who frown upon mixing cichlids, but I believe do what works for you. You may all have your opinions just as I do, but our beliefs in our tanks are as diverse as we are. Sure, there are written rules for health and safety of our cichlids and the environment we provide for them that are black and white, no gray areas. For example, there are well-defined water parameters that we must adhere to or risk harming our fish. But there are other areas that are not so clear-cut. And that's what I want to address today. Lake Malawi and Lake Tanganyika are rift lakes. What that means is they are formed by a rift in the ground. Salt water from the ocean flowed into the rift and formed these salty lakes. Over time, the elements, such as rain and runoff, diluted the salt content to what it is today. What that says is that cichlids are fish that survive in very, very diluted salt water. This may be gross to some of you, but I have tasted my um, um, aquarium water and cannot taste salt whatsoever. It is highly diluted. Adding salt is one of those gray areas. It's a personal preference that only you know what your cichlids do best in. Some people who add salt believe that salt will enhance coloration. Salt also will increase spawning activity. And when I say that, I'm referring to fighting. Um, salt will help to increase breeding, bigger fry, larger broods. Um, salt is supposedly helpful to starting your cycle. It'll lessen the wait time. And salt enhances breathing and gastric function in your cichlids. Now, Fresh water or non-salted water, cichlids adapt well to and have no issues. Uh, they breed just as well in fresh water without salt. Salt is an unnecessary expense. Uh, there's less fighting in fresh water and salt can increase your pH levels. So you see, salt definitely has its issues and should always be kept on hand. As far as adding salt with weekly water changes, it's a personal opinion and must be decided by the individual and their situation. The most important aspect of cichlid keeping is maintaining the perfect water parameters. Everything starts there. When I first began, I did add salt with every water change because that's what I had recommended to me. I was a novice and wanted to do the best I could and listen to the advice I was given. But as I've traveled this journey, I have found that there are so many different opinions as to salt that I decided I need to figure out what works best for me and my cichlids. There was a time that I didn't use any salt at all. And honestly, I didn't find a difference in coloration, but I did feel the fish were more active when I had salt in the water. Just remember that if you do add salt, only add the salt you need to the portion of water you have removed. Do not add salt for the amount of water in the entire tank, or you will have a very salty tank and it could become dangerous to your cichlids. There are so many variations to adding salt. You can add salt every water change, once a month, every other month, every other week. It's just a totally personal preference if you use salt or not. Both sides of this argument have very valid points. So in my mind, it's kind of like cooking. Add salt to taste. This is Deb Tim signing off. Have yourself a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.